गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स एक यूज फॉर फोर्थ ऑफ अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन प्रोबा थ्री मिशन विच विल बी लॉन्च अबोर्ड इसरोज पी एस एल वी इज एसोशिएटेड विद विच स्पेस एजेंसी सो दिस मिशन बिलोंग्स टू यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी एंड इट विल बी लॉन्च अबोर्ड द इसरोज पी एस एल वी इन द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड इट्स टू सेटेलाइट्स विल स्टडी द सेंस फेंट कोरोना एंड इट्स सराउंडिंग एटमोसफियर सो द थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टी किलोग्राम्स स्पेस क्राफ्ट विल बी डिप्लॉयड बाय पी एस एल वी इन अ हाई अर्थ ऑर्बिट विद एन ऑर्बिटल पीरियड ऑफ नाइनटीन पॉइंट सेवन आवर्स ओके सो दिस मिशन बिलोंग्स टू यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी Next is Lynx U2 system is an indigenously developed naval gun fire control system manufactured by which particular institution So this is an indigenously developed naval gun fire control system and the Union Defense Ministry has recently signed a contract with BEL for the procurement of 13 of these systems for the Indian Navy and the purchase under the by indian indigenously designed developed and manufactured category will be placed on the new generation offshore petrol vessels to be constructed indigenously at garden reach ship builders and engineers and goa shipyard limited right so this is an indigenously developed naval gun fire control system which has been manufactured by bel Now, can you tell me which country has recently test fired the P two seven zero Mosquit missile? So this is a supersonic missile of the country Russia, and Russian Navy has test fired this particular Mosquit missile at a target in the Sea of Japan recently. Fine. So this missile belongs to Russia country. Next is World Bank approved. 100 million dollar loan for implementation of state capability and resilient growth program of which indian state so the world bank has approved 100 million dollars loan for the implementation of odisha state capability and resilient growth program and this program will help the state to strengthen the early forecasting system for disaster management and provide social protection coverage for the vulnerable household okay so that's why world bank has approved this much amount of loan for implementation of state capability and resilient growth program of odisha state also we have seen that the world bank has approved the grant of 363 million dollar loan to the karnataka state for clean drinking water supply and also world bank has approved another loan of One hundred eight million dollars for the state of Assam for its flood management project. Okay. Next is which company signed a deal with the Indian Army for procuring Akash weapon system? So this Akash weapon system is a short-range surface-to-air missile air defense system, and the Indian government has signed a contract to procure this system for the Indian Army. and defense psu bharat dynamics have won the orders worth over 8400 crore rupees for production and supply of the akash weapon system to the two regiments of the indian army okay so your correct answer would be bharat dynamics next is which city is the host of the combined commanders conference so prime minister narendra modi took part in the combined commanders conference in bhopal in the state of madhya pradesh and also he will flag off a vande bharat express service to delhi and this combined commanders conference is a biennial event that brings together india's top military brass to discuss the issues that are related to military and national security okay So, which city is the host of the Combined Commanders Conference? Answer would be Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. 
एंड विथ सिटी वॉज द होस्ट ऑफ द जी ट्वेंटी आर आई आई जी कॉन्फ्रेंस मीन्स रिसर्च एंड इनोवेशन इनिशिएटिव गैदरिंग कॉन्फ्रेंस आंसर वुड बी असाम एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट सिटी इट इज डिब्रूगढ़ एंड विथ सिटी हैज होस्टेड द फर्स्ट एम्प्लॉयमेंट वर्किंग ग्रुप मीटिंग अंडर जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी आंसर वुड बी जोधपुर जोधपुर राजस्थान स्टेट ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट इज विच कंट्रीज कंपनी ए एल ई हैज प्लान टू क्रिएट एन आर्टिफिशियल मेटियर शार सो दिस इज अ जापानीज कंपनी एंड करेंटली इट इज प्लानिंग टू क्रिएट एन आर्टिफिशियल मेटियर शार विच विल बी क्रिएटेड यूजिंग प्रेशर ड्रिवन सिस्टम ऑफ द गैस टैंक्स सो दिस इज सेंडिंग सेटेलाइट इन टू स्पेस टू क्रिएट द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट ह्यूमन मेड मेटियर शार एंड इट इज नेम्ड एज स्काई कैनवस and the project was initially scheduled for launch in 2020 so later on it was delayed due to a satellite malfunction fine so ali has planned to create an artificial meteor shower now these days hefa is in news what is this higher education financing agency and it is a joint venture of education ministry under government of india and which bank Canara Bank for financing the creation of capital assets in premier institution and recently a parliamentary panel has directed the education ministry to fast track the process of disbursing the sanctioned loans by the hefa okay so you can be asked that higher education financing agency that is hefa is a joint venture of education ministry and which particular bank answer it be canara bank now next is which country passed safeguard mechanism to force the coal mines and oil refineries to minimize the emission so australia's safeguard mechanism which was passed recently by the country's parliament will force the coal mines and the oil refineries to minimize the emissions by around 4% each year and it is part of the efforts taken by the government to reach net zero emission by 2050 Okay, so your correct answer will be Australia. Now, which country has signed the decree on spring conscription? So, decree on spring conscription has been signed by President of Russia Vladimir Putin recently, and this campaign is calling one lakh forty-seven thousand Russian citizens for statutory military service. Okay. and last september vladimir putin signed an order calling up to 120000 people for the autumn campaign fine so you can be asked the decree on spring conscription is associated with which country answer it be russia next is which institution developed a pocket friendly device to detect the mill adulteration in 30 second this is iit madras IIT Madras researchers have developed a three-dimensional paper-based portable device that can detect adulteration in the milk within just 30 seconds. And this test could be even performed at home and it can detect multiple substances commonly used as adulterating agent like urea, detergent, soap, starch, hydrogen peroxide, sodium hydrogen carbonate salt etc okay so recently it madras researchers have developed this pocket friendly device to detect the milk adulteration in just 30 seconds next is what is the estimated amount that the government will borrow for the first half of financial year 2023 to 24 so center has the plans to raise 8.88 lakh crore rupees through market borrowing in april to september period of 2023 to 24 to fund the revenue gap to push economic growth and finance ministry announced this after consultation with the reserve bank of india right so your correct answer would be 8.88 lakh crore rupees now can you tell me what is the rate of interest that has been announced for mahila samman savings certificate scheme so it has been announced in the union budget 2023 to 
and uh, it is a deposit facility where you can deposit up to 2 lakh rupees in the name of women or the girls for a tenure of next 2 years okay and interest will be 7.5% fine right? now as per the central board of trustees of epfo what is the interest rate on the provident fund deposits for this time period means for 2023 to 24 so for this period epfo decided to raise the interest rate on the provident fund deposit marginally to 8.15% for financial year 23 fine now next is which institution decided to ban the practice of individuals having permanent seats on the boards of listed companies so to ensure more transparency and timely disclosure of material events by the listed entities sebi has decided to amend the norms whereby a quantitative threshold will be introduced for determining the materiality of the events and also sebi has decided to do away with the practice of individuals having permanent seats on the boards of listed companies basically fine so here correct answer would be option number b and sebi was also in news because recently it has decided to set up a corporate debt market development fund in the form of an alternative investment fund so this fund will be set up with an initial corpus of 3000 crore rupees and it will function as a backstop facility for buying the investment great corporate debt securities during stressful times okay so you can be asked that which institution is to set up the corporate debt market development fund answer would be sebi now last question is which country has recently agreed to join the shanghai cooperation organization as a dialogue partner so saudi arabia agrees to join the shanghai cooperation organization as a dialogue partner and saudi arabia builds a long term partnership with china despite us security concerns also saudi arabia has approved a memorandum on granting the kingdom the status of a dialogue partner in the shanghai cooperation organization fine who is the current president of sco so for 2023 india is the president of shanghai cooperation organization okay and india will hold the presidency of this grouping for one year until september 2023 also we are the president of g20 as well so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with our revision session in which we are doing the current affairs revision for the month of february and this is part 16 in this series so let's start with the questions and today we'll be discussing from 76 up to question number 19 first is the national research foundation is an autonomous agency that comes under the aegis of which union ministry so this is an autonomous agency that comes under the aegis of ministry of science and technology and why it was in news because the union budget 2023 to 24 has earmarked 2000 crore rupees as an outlay for this foundation to boost research and innovation within india next is when is the international day of zero tolerance for female genital mutilation observed we observe this day every year on 6th of february medium density amorphous ice which was seen in the news recently was created in a container filled with which material so this ice is a new form of ice that was recently discovered by the scientist and this ice has same density and the structure as water and uh, it was created by the scientist in a container with stainless steel balls at minus 200 degree centigrade temperature who is the only living indian to win the grammy award thrice this is ricky cage he is an indian musician and environmental activist and recently he won his third grammy award also he is the youngest person to win this award and only the fourth indian to achieve this feat next is yuka guru spinny throated reed frog which was seen in the news recently has been discovered in which country so it has been found in the country tanzania okay next is 
Kiruna, which was seen in the news recently, is a small town located in which country? It lies in Sweden country. So this is a town in northern Sweden and currently it is under threat of being consumed by the world's largest iron ore mine that is under the control of Swedish state-owned company LKAB. India established a trade and technology council along with which bloc? Answer would be European Union. So India European Union Trade and Technology Council was jointly established by European Union along with India. And under this new council, three working groups have been set up with a focus on strategic technologies, digital governance and the digital connectivity. The Experiential Technology Innovation Center is a newly established research institute in which institution? Answer would be IIT Madras. Which state budget announced a roadmap for setting up green hydrogen hubs with outlay of 200 crore rupees? So Kerala budget has decided to make a roadmap for setting up green hydrogen hubs in Kochi and in Thiruvananthapuram in the next two years. And a scheme of 200 crore rupees has been announced for viability gap equity support to set up these green hydrogen hubs. Red Sanders is prevalently found in which Indian state? So it is found in Andhra Pradesh state. And as per the sites, full form is the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, 28 incidents of Red Sanders confiscation, seizure and specimen were exported from India. And these consignments were exported to the countries like China, Hong Kong, Singapore, US, etc. Basically, red sandalwood is an endemic tree species with distribution restricted to eastern ghats of India and is found in Andhra Pradesh. Next is the union budget 2023 to 24 has allocated 2516 crore rupees for the computerization of which unit over the next five years. So union budget has allocated this much amount for the computerization of 63,000 PACs over the next five years. What is this? Primary agricultural credit societies. Basically, these are village level cooperative credit societies that act as the last link to the three tier cooperative credit structure, which is headed by the state cooperative bank. BART is an artificial intelligence chatbot that is being developed by which tech major? Answer would be Google. This is an AI chatbot that is being developed by Google as a competitor for the popular Microsoft backed chat GPT. Okay. Trades is an electronic platform that facilitates the transactions for which entities? Answer would be MSME. So this is an electronic platform that facilitates the financing or discounting, trading and settling invoices of the MSMEs. And RBI has recently decided to expand the scope of the threats to allow the use of insurance facilities. Eagle 44 is the first underground air force base of which country? Answer would be Iran. This is the first underground air force base of Iran, which is capable of housing the fighter jets that are equipped with the cruise missiles. Which Indian state or the Union Territory proposed the wetland ex situ conservation establishment? Answer would be Rajasthan. So this is a zoo that is being proposed by the state government of Rajasthan and it is said to be established within the Kiyoladio National Park which is a world heritage site and it is also known as Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary. Okay. So these are the next 15 questions from the month of February and tomorrow we will be continuing it from here and we will cover the question from 91 up to 105. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zahat Sana signing off.